Now, let's convert base 16 to base 2 or hexadecimal to binary and vice versa, binary to hexadecimal. So to do that, before we solve, let's, let's solve first the four digit values of binaries. So that I will start with 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. And then 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. 1 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 uh, 1 1 0 1 0 and we have the last one I'll put it here um 1 1 1 1 okay Let's just put it here okay so in, in binary, it looks like this, but this represents 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then 10. But uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, and then 15. But remember, in hexadecimal, we don't really use 10. We use letter A, letter B, letter C, letter D, letter E, and then for 1111, which is 15, is F. So we will use these values. So let's convert. Now, for CA3, base 16, to convert that to base 2, let's check first what is C, what is A, and what is 3? So C here is 1, 1, 1, 0, 0. A here is 1, 0, 1, 0. And 3 is 0, 0, 1, 1. And let's just combine them. The answer will be 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. And that will be our base 2. But how about base 2 to base 16? So base 2 to base to base 16. So as you observe, we separate them into four digits. So let's separate this in four digits too. So four digits. And then since we don't have a value here, let's just put 0. 0011. One, zero, zero, one, one. 0, 0, 1, 1 is 3. 0, 1, 1, 0. 0, 1, 1, 0 is 6. So this is 6. So the value is 63 base 16. That's how you convert.